I'd been a year and a half to college before I was drafted. Let's see, I must have been about 24 from when I went over with, and so everybody was a stranger, and that was about the only time I really felt alone when you had all those troops on the ship and you didn't know anybody. It's kind of a different feeling. What is known as a crew chief, uh, ran the fighter airplanes up for the pilot, and that was in New Guinea. And they had uh, coral beaches and coral airstrip. It was white coral, and we they'd usually put our quarters, our tents, at the end of the runway and. They were kind of a dangerous place because they could drop bombs on those airstrips and be close to our tents where we live. The pilot I had in New Guinea was named Anchors, and he always said, I'm too young to die, because he was a fighter pilot. And I looked after his plane. and. Or is, that's about it. Uh -huh. When the war was over, I was on Okinawa, and it was nighttime, and the, they were celebrating the war being over. And I was out there jumping around. I wasn't in a foxhole. And uh, the ships in the harbor were firing uh, tracers and one of those spent bullets hit me in the deltoid here. And I had to go to get that bullet taken out. I had a sister and a brother back in Dallas and my mother was there. And uh, my sister was working in downtown Dallas it's an H service command, and uh, she had a roommate that was, she sent me a picture, and I ended up marrying uh, my friend of my sister's. <laughs>